Hi and welcome to a new Baramundi on air video. My name is Nick from the support and today we want to show you how you can deploy Microsoft Teams via managed software. So let's jump directly in the BMC. In the BMC, we click on the tab Software and search under Managed Software for the product Microsoft Teams. Here you can see we have two product lines, the X86 and the X64. So in our case, we want to deploy the machine-wide installer X64 and we set a release for the product and create an install job. We can click on Next, Next and Finish. For deploying Microsoft Teams via managed software, it's important to know that you are deploying the machine-wide installer and not the Teams version itself. After deploying the machine-wide installer on the clients, the setup is created on the client and also a registry key is set and on each login from a user, the registry key checks if Teams is already installed in the user hive or not. If not, the Teams setup is starting and installing the Teams version for the user. Also keep in mind that you don't need to update the Teams installation in the user profiles because it's updating itself over the internet. Also, you don't need to update the machine-wide installer on the clients. For that, you can set a filter in your MSW scan and update job that the machine-wide installer is not updating in the future. For that, we switch back to the BMC. In the BMC, we click on the tab Jobs and create a new job for Windows device. Here we can set the name for our scan and update job, click on Next and set the job step Update Managed Software with the action Inventory and Update. We click on Next and here we can set the filter. So we click on Edit and can choose all managed software products and scroll down to our Microsoft Teams machine-wide installer and uncheck the boxes. Click on OK, on Next, Next and Finish. So now we successfully created the MSW scan and update job and set a filter so the machine-wide installer is ignored in the future. Keep also in mind if you are uninstalling Microsoft Teams machine-wide installer manually, that it also has an impact on the existing Teams installations in the user profiles. One more important thing to know is that you see in the inventory in the BMC only the version of the machine-wide installer and not of the Teams installation in the user profile. If you have any more questions on this topic, you can contact us in the support. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.